Have you ever wondered why we dream or what those dreams might mean? Dreams, those elusive narratives that fill our slumber, are steeped in mystery and intrigue. They've been a subject of fascination since the dawn of humanity, with every culture imbuing them with its own layer of interpretation and significance. Historically, dreams were considered divine messages, conduits to the supernatural or even prophecies. Today, we delve into the depths of our psyche to unravel the secrets these nocturnal narratives hold. Dreams are like a mirror, reflecting our subconscious, the repository of our deepest desires, fears and memories. Psychoanalysts, neuroscientists and philosophers alike have grappled with dreams, attempting to decode their cryptic language. They serve as a gateway into our innermost thoughts, helping us understand our mind's intricate workings. From the symbolic to the surreal, each dream is a unique tapestry woven from the threads of our subconscious mind. Dreams have puzzled mankind for centuries, leading to numerous theories about their meanings. One of the most famous theories comes from none other than Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis. Freud's interpretation of dreams revolutionized the way we perceive our nocturnal narratives. He believed that dreams are not just random sequences of events, but meaningful reflections of our deepest desires and anxieties. In his seminal work, The Interpretation of Dreams, Freud introduced the concept of manifest and latent content of dreams. The manifest content refers to the actual storyline of the dream, the part we remember when we wake up. It could be something as simple as walking in a park or as bizarre as talking to a unicorn. On the other hand, the latent content, according to Freud, is the underlying hidden meaning of the dream. It represents our unconscious desires and fears that are too provocative or distressing to confront directly. So, our mind disguises them in the form of symbols and metaphors, which make up the manifest content. Freud also proposed that dreams are a form of wish fulfillment. He argued that our unfulfilled desires, especially those that are repressed or forbidden, find an outlet in our dreams. So if you've ever dreamt of flying, Freud might say it's your subconscious desire for freedom or escape. However, it's important to note that Freud's theory is not universally accepted. Critics argue that it overly emphasizes sexual and aggressive instincts, and that it is subjective and difficult to scientifically test. Despite these criticisms, Freud's ideas remain influential in the field of dream interpretation. His theory provides a framework to delve deeper into our dream world, to decode the symbolic language of our subconscious. It invites us to look beyond the surface of our dreams, to unearth the hidden desires and fears that drive us, and ultimately, to better understand ourselves. Freud's theory, though controversial, has had a profound impact on how we view and interpret our dreams. But Freud isn't the only one with ideas about dreams. Let's delve into some other theories that offer a different perspective. Firstly, the activation synthesis hypothesis, proposed by Harvard University psychiatrists, suggests that dreams are the byproduct of our brain's random electrical impulses during REM sleep. They theorize that our brain attempts to make sense of these random signals, resulting in the bizarre narratives we often experience in dreams. Next up is the cognitive theory of dreaming. This theory asserts that dreams are not mysterious or random, but rather a reflection of our cognitive capacities that exist even when we're awake. It proposes that dreaming is a time when the brain consolidates and processes the information gathered throughout the day, and this manifests as dreams. So, whether it's Freud's subconscious desires, the random firing of neurons, or the cognitive processing of daily events, these theories, while differing in their approach, all attempt to unravel the enigma of our dreams. So, what does this mean for the dreams you have? As we've journeyed through the enigmatic world of dreams, we've discovered that interpreting dreams is like solving a complex puzzle with countless possibilities. Freud saw dreams as windows into our subconscious desires, while other theories suggest they might be a way our brains process emotions or events from our daily lives. But remember, the mystery of dreams still remains, as we've only just begun to scratch the surface of this captivating realm. Each theory offers a unique lens to view our dreams through, allowing us to decode the intricate symbols and narratives that play out when we close our eyes at night. Consider your own dreams. 
Are they a reflection of your deepest desires? A way for your brain to sort through the events of the day? Or perhaps something else entirely? Regardless of their true meaning, dreams continue to fascinate us, offering a glimpse into the uncharted territories of our minds.